Um, it's a damp road. I'm going to put it in sport here and see what happens if I put my foot down. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Supercars of London and another daily vlog. I have had an amazing, chilled out weekend and seem to have woken up this morning even more exhausted than I was on the Friday. I think the um, Goodwood revival, the drive all the way up to Lincolnshire, the chilled out couple of days in the country fresh air, and then the drive back has just exhausted me even more. But today I have been filming two videos, one that you would have seen yesterday and obviously the daily vlog that I'm doing today. So I'm filming two simultaneously today. I still have no idea what video I am shooting that went live yesterday, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but today I'm just gonna go through the day, vlog as much as I can, spend some time at SB Race Engineering, but also driving the Lamborghini. It's, it's still so surreal that that is my car. The Audi R8, for some reason, I got quite used to that relatively quickly, but I just can't get used to saying the words, my Lamborghini, without it making me shiver or anything like that. So let's just get ready for the day and see what happens. So recently, I have been kind of all over the place and I'll give you a quick, quick, quick summary of what has happened. So on Thursday, I was vlogging throughout the day. I picked Sam up at Guildford and we drove down to a very nice hotel in Liphook, Hampshire, getting ready for the Michelin Goodwood Revival Day on the Friday. I edited the LaFerrari drive that I did amazingly. Um, I edited that before we went for dinner on the Thursday night with Michelin. I came home and my laptop battery wasn't charging. And I panicked as I needed to get the Thursday vlog edited and live by Friday morning so that I could just go and enjoy the day at Goodwood Revival. Because my laptop wasn't charging, and I found out since that I've now got a faulty battery, so I need to keep it plugged in at the wall all of the time, I needed to make sure that there was a Friday video live. So I've been forever trying to catch up with myself on the... I made the LaFerrari video drive live on Friday, which you saw, and then I drove back from Goodwood at around five o'clock, dropped Sam off at Guildford and went all the way around the M25 back to Watford and edited two videos, the Goodwood Revival vlog and also the Lamborghini tour. So I edited those two videos in about an hour and a half and then left to head up to Lincolnshire at about nine o'clock, which meant that I got there at midnight. So it was a super long couple of days and I was always playing catch up with myself. And because I arrived late last night, I haven't had the opportunity to film for today's video. So I am now out and about, ready to film yesterday's video that you would have seen. It's Monday today, and I need to film a video and edit and upload it by 5 p.m. tonight. Uh, tonight, which is yesterday's video, I'm confusing myself. The roads are wet. Ladies and gentlemen, put in the comment box below what you think this car is. I'm now gonna take the car out and go for a drive it. Oh, it's so wet. It is wet, wet, wet. Oh, the windscreen wipers are still on. Music's still on and you're wonky. There we go, I think that's better. And this is gonna dirty my car, I've just realized. It's gonna, the water on the road is gonna splash up onto the white paint, white paint job that I have. Put my foot down. Oh, there was a bit of water over there that I missed. Anyway, the main reason why I want to, I wanted to go for a quick drive is that one, the SB office is very busy at the moment, so I thought that it'd be better for me to go for a quick drive, drive the car, but talk to you about the clothing that I'm wearing, Supercars of London clothing, which is the Instagram page is there, and the Twitter page is also there. Make sure that you're following those accounts because this is a little venture of mine that I've been wanting to do for a long time. And my main goal really is to create cool looking clothing that obviously represents supercars of London, but at the same time 
for those that wouldn't know what Supercars of London is or just sees a cool t-shirt with their logo, might tempt them into learning more about the SOL clothing brand. So that's where I've kind of got the very plain and simple design from. Also, it's very sort of basic American tees that I really like and wear all of the time. A lot of questions have been asked, when is it going to be available? And I will be doing a lot more videos coming, moving forward to do with the clothing because the launch day is the 27th of September. I've also put the text there as well. The 27th of September is when you will be able to get your hands on the first Supercars of London t-shirt. So make sure that you save that date in your diary, put a reminder on your phone, or just follow those Instagram pages because they're gonna be coming a lot more active over the next couple of weeks leading up to the 27th of September. So I am really, really excited about the fact that we are getting very, very close. I've been working extremely closely with ATW. Now, ATW were a clothing company that I met at Goodwood Festival of Speed and their ethos, their clothing, their materials is second to none, it's amazing. And if you look closely, it's an ATW label on the Supercars of London t-shirts and for the first few t-shirt releases, it's gonna be an ATW clothing branded t-shirt and that is because they have massively helped me over the last couple of months to get to this point where we can we, we can collaboratively launch the Supercars of London clothing, which I'm very, 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 very excited about. Um, it's a damp road. I'm going to put it in sport here and see what happens if I put my foot down. Jesus. So here we go. I'm back in the SB Race Engineering office and I'm editing the video that you would have watched yesterday, which is filming on the same day. So I'm vlogging, editing at the same time. And I've got my diary here and uh, it's good to be back in the SB Race Engineering office. I will, uh, yeah, I will say that. Look, check out, check out how good the Lamborghini looks from above. Ooh. That is a good looking 430 Spider. Sounds good as well. Oh, it's got the carbon back. Three sixty, four thirty. What a bizarre day of weather in the UK. It has gone from blue sky to sun, to rain, to heavy rain, to gale force winds, and now it is blue sky there, but very, very dark rain clouds behind me. So I'm not sure which way the wind is blowing. That flag will be able to tell me a little bit. Um, but I love this car, regardless of the weather. I just love how chunky the steering wheel is and I was actually planning in my diary the videos that I'm going to be producing over the next seven to ten days and kind of like a new monthly series that I'm hoping to create which is going to incorporate the running costs and the everyday living with a Lamborghini and it's going to happen pretty much every single month from the second of every from the second of every single month because I picked this car up on the second of September so on the second of October the second of November the second of December the second of January I'm going to try and run through various costs of how and, and what it's like to live with this car so I'm going to try and do an update as, as, as best as I can on a monthly basis that's something that I've thought of fast forwarding a couple of hours I'd say in the weather is still bad. Those rain clouds I said earlier have finally come down and I'm literally running oh, a couple of errands. Although it is rush hour. I haven't really been stuck in traffic in the Lamborghini yet, but I've been told 
it's not the greatest in terms of the e-gear e -gear clutch or even the clutch life in general, just keeping yourself on the biting point. So I'm taking some back roads, as you can see, um, and I just need to head down, do a bit of a food shop actually, before I'm gonna head home and then edit the video or a video and then really fully put some plans into action in terms of getting some really cool content this week. Um, and I'm hoping to do a couple of collaborations as well, which is gonna be fun. So we will see how that goes. But this weather sucks, absolutely sucks. But I'm gonna sign off now before I get absolutely soaked from stepping out of the car. So I'd like to say thank you for watching. Thank you for all of your support. As always, I hope you've enjoyed this video and yesterday's video, which are all filmed today on Monday. I'm glad I filmed it in the morning and not in the afternoon, Jesus. But yeah, sorry, I'm just concentrating on driving. Thank you for watching as always. Um, and if you're new, please subscribe. There's gonna be some awesome stuff coming up both with cars and with potentially some familiar faces. So I'm looking forward to those and we will see how we get on this week. I hope the weather isn't that bad throughout the rest of the week. I have no idea. <laughs> Lucky he wasn't turning right. 65 plate Audi. Same registration. 65 as this car which is still rare even though we are now the 14th of September or 15th as we're watching this video. I am rambling. <laughs> I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care guys.